Good everyone, my name is Graphics. If you look at the front of your screen, you see a question, and that question is a quadratic equation. And we're told to solve for the variable x, right? Which that we're looking forward for the root of this equation. In this particular question, we are going to be using completing the square method now we have 3x squared plus 11x plus 6 equals to 0 what you do first of all is to take the constant to the right hand side of the equation right so we'll take it the constant the constant here is 6 i will take it to the right hand side of the equation so i'll be having and when it's going to the right hand side of the equation the positive on the 6 will turn to what? Negative. I will together. So we have in 3x squared plus 11x is equals to minus 6. As you can see. Now after that, we want the x squared to stand alone. Right? So we don't want any constant to be close to x squared. So the equation of x squared is 3. We are going to divide through by the coefficient of x squared. So that we will be having 3x squared over 3 plus 11x over 3 is equals to minus 6 all over 3. Now when you do the needful, 3 we equate 3 here, we are left with x squared plus 11x over 3 is equals to 6 divided by 3 is 2, so we are having minus 2. So this is what we have here. Now the next thing we are going to do is to look for the half of the quotient of what? X. That means multiply the quotient of X by 1 over 2. So when we do that, we will be having 11 over 3 times 1 over 2. That will give us 11 over what? 11 over um six i will together now after you've done that we will now square it right when we square it this is what we're going to add to both sides of the equation so if i'm rewriting my equation here i'm going to be having s square plus 11 over 3x plus 11 over 6 all square is equals to minus 2 plus 11 over 6 all square right so this is what we have in here now if you look at s square plus 11 over 3s plus 11 over 6 all square is a perfect square so we'll now be writing it you take the x and you take the 11 over 6 but when you multiply it you still get back our equation here so we have in x plus 11 over 6 in bracket that is all square is equals to minus 2 plus now if i open the bracket here 11 square is 121 divided by 6 squares what 36 right now i'll be having x plus 11 over 6 in bracket all square is equals to we look for the lcm here so the lcm of this will give us 36 and if you 2 1 in 36 2 times 36 is what 72 and we have negative there so it will be minus 72 is that the key because the 2 you are looking at has invisible 1 under it so when you say 1 in 36 that is 36 the 6 times the 2 will give us what 72 well because the 2 has a negative i'm putting negative there plus the denominator here 36 in 36 is 1 times the numerator 1 to 1 that will still give us what 1 to 1 so this is what we have here now we'll now rewrite this i'll have s plus 11 all over 6 all square right is equals to minus 72 plus 1 to 1 will give us 49 all over 36 now we'll now be having we'll take the square to the other side of the equation so i'll be having s plus 11 over 6 is equals to plus or minus when the square is coming here it become a square root so we're having plus or minus the square root of 
49 over 36. I'll be having again x plus 11 over 6 is equals to plus or minus. The square root of 49 is 7 and the square root of 36 is 6. So we're having 7 all over 6. Now from here, I will take the constant to the other side. That means I'm collecting like terms. So I'll be having x is equals to plus or minus 7 over 6, right? Minus 11 all over 6. Is that taken? Now, if I do the needful, my x will not be equal to, after all, consider the positive 7. So I have positive 7 over 6 minus 11 over 6, or x is equal to, I'll consider the negative 7. That will be negative 7 over 6 minus 11 over 6. Now, if you do the needful here, we'll now be having, take the LCM, since they have the same denominator, so it will be 7 minus 11, that will give us what? Minus 4, right? So we have minus 4 over 6 or x is equals to since they have the same denominator you just focus on the numerator minus 7 plus minus 7 minus 11 will give us minus 18 right so our x will not be equals to the lowest form of 4 with 2 can go in 4 2 and 2 can go in 6 3 so we're having minus 2 over 3 or 6 in 18 is 3 so we have x equals to what minus 3 so these are the roots of this equation that we have just solved. Is that taken now? And uh, this is what we call using the completing the square method. If you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.